So last week in our staff meeting, the conversation came about after we were reading the book Contagious, and I asked a question from everybody. I said, hey, can you tell me why I make it a requirement for us to read a book a month? We've been doing this for seven and a half years. Why? And I got four responses. One of them says, Pat, you want us to improve? I said, okay, great. What else? The other person said, you want our minds to be working and thinking about work when we're after hours. That was an interesting one said. Another person said, you know, it brings us together because we're advancing, advancing together. Another person said ideas. And I said, everything is great, but let me tell you why we read books. I said, I want all of you to want to make more money. How many of you guys want to make more money? They raise that. Now, remember, this is not sales. This is W-2 job. How many of you want to ask for a raise and to get a raise? And everyone said, I want to get a raise. Now, this is me teaching my staff how to ask for a raise. I said, there's three things that you need to be doing to constantly be advancing in your career. And if you don't, you're not going to advance in your career. They said, what is it? And I wrote it out, so I'm sure they're not with you. One is attitude, effort, and progress. Let me explain. Attitude. You have, you have a lot of talented people in your career that you'll hire. I've hired so many incredibly ridiculous talented people with bad attitudes. And they don't last. And they don't last anywhere they go. Because anywhere they go, nobody likes them. No one likes a bad attitude. So when it comes down to attitude, a saving grace for a person not to get fired is a positive attitude. Because you've got three opportunities with attitude. One is a person that comes in, they're not positive, they're not negative, it's just no one knows they're around. Nobody does. You can walk by their cubicle 50 times and they get fired one day and you don't even know they got fired because no one knows their attitude because you never see them because they don't say anything. So there's not a positivity or a negativity. At least you remember the negative person and you remember the positive person, but you don't remember the person in the neutral, right? Negative ones, eventually they're contagious. Anytime I look at a resume, somebody gives me a resume to hire, I look at how many jobs this person's had the last two, three, four, five years. If it's multiple jobs, one after another, after another, after another, there is something there. This can't constantly be the company. Companies don't let go of good people. They just don't. They want to keep good people. There's something that didn't work out there six different times, and most of the time it comes down to attitude. So then positive attitude. We had an employee in the room, and I said, hey, let me talk to you guys about her. I pointed at her, and I said, you know, you almost got fired six months ago, four months ago. She says, yeah, I know. I said, how do you know? She says, everybody told me this. I'm about to get fired. I said, do you know why you didn't get fired? She said, why? So I had an executive meeting, meeting with the executive, and I said, this person needs to get fired, that person needs to get fired, let's keep these three, let's give a raise to this person, et cetera, et cetera, we have these meetings. I said, you were on the verge of getting fired because you had no clue what you were doing with your job. And she said, yeah, honestly, I had no idea. I said, but the only reason why we didn't fire you is because you have such a positive attitude. You're contagious to be around. I said, that's your saving grace. You have no idea how valuable that is. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I said, you stay like that, you're gonna do great things with your life. The next one is effort. Let me explain to you the effort. You know who the guys in the middle are? I call them 759 to 501. <laughs> they clock in a minute before, and they clock out a minute after. I gotta go watch my TV shows. And there's no way in the world I'm working one minute more for this corporation than I'm supposed to. I'm not doing that. I'm just not doing that, right? It's like a religion to them. Still cool, you're in negative, because these guys on the bottom, you know what they do? Let me tell you about their effort. These guys, for whatever reason, they're sick on Mondays and they don't feel too well on Friday afternoons. I don't know what it is. Their timing is incredible on when they don't feel well, right? Now, I've worked jobs before and I know why on Mondays because you want to have a longer weekend and I know why Fridays because you want to have a longer weekend, but eventually people figure that part out. I mean, everyone knows what's going on there. These guys, they always move up. I remember working at um, many of my jobs that it goes back to if we had to do a certain thing at Bally's and I was off at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, I was there till midnight. I didn't have to be there till midnight. I didn't get paid those hours. No one paid me for those hours, but I stayed till midnight. Now what happened when I stayed there till midnight? One, I grew for myself, but people started saying Pat's one of the hardest working guys in the company. I became the rookie of the year. I got recognition. I got those accolades, but you know what else happened? Let me tell you what else happened. It prepped me that one day if I was ever going to be put into an executive position, I already know about the effort part. I'm not afraid of working hard. I don't mind putting in 12, 13, 14, 16 hour days because I've done it. It's a muscle now. I'm always going to be needed because most people don't work that hard. So for you watching this, I promise you, 
these two alone, you're going to move up in your career. I promise you that. Because most people don't work too hard and most people don't consistently have a positive attitude. These two, you'll learn the other parts. Now let's get to the last one. Last one is progress. Progress to me is I call a meeting. In this meeting, I say, these five people I want to be part of this meeting, we're going to do an ideation meeting on a new software, on a new technology, on a new system, on a new product, on a new show, on whatever. I sit there as a person who called the meeting, and I watch on who's giving feedback. The person that doesn't give feedback, I don't invite to the next meeting. For what? You don't give feedback. What's the purpose of you sitting there to look pretty? I mean, listen, we don't get paid to model here, right? We get paid to come up with ideas. Okay, cool. The person that constantly comes up with ideas and they don't get shut, they don't get, uh, uh, what's the, uh, um, the attitude, what do you call it when somebody gets ideas shut down and they become defensive and they, they don't freeze and they, you know how somebody says, no, we can't do the idea right now. And they go like this, because they're too sensitive now. Instead, this person says, oh, wow, okay, cool, no problem. You know, boom, next. Because sometimes some ideas are just not workable. And they keep feeding more and keep feeding more. Like, man, this dude's got a great idea. He's so enthusiastic about being here and he's working hard and he's giving great ideas. Trifecta, I like this guy. Let's keep him long term. Let's give him more responsibility and move up in the company and give him a raise. That's the progress. How can I make me better? How can I make the company better? How can I make the industry better? How can I make this thing grow faster? How can I make this thing look better? How can we make the process safer? How can we make this a funner place? How can we grow better? Everything's about better, 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 better. And the one on the bottom is the one that walks around and says, oh my gosh, I hate working here. Did you hear what he said again? Here it goes again. Uh, did you hear what he said? Oh, here we go. So you know none of this stuff works. Bitching, 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 bitching. These two become best friends. They're typically the same person. Somehow, someway, they join the same club. I don't know what it is. They attract each other. But these guys, somehow, someway, always move up. I can't tell you why it is. It's just what it is. So if you're watching this right now, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're a businessman, whether you're successful already in executive, whether you're running a company that did $180 million last year in revenues and you're feeling like it's great, always go back and take an inventory of yourself and the people on your team. How's the ideation of you constantly figuring out ways to make things better? How is your effort being put in? How's your attitude? Take the assessment of your people and the people that are there, help them move up. And if you're somebody that's not doing these three, try to become a trifecta. Ask yourself every day. How's my attitude today? How's my effort today? How am I becoming better at making ideas or progressing the company? And the more you do that, if the company you're working at right now treats you like crap, and, and I'm talking sincerely, not you watching, yeah, that's why I'm not moving up in life, but you're really lazy. I'm talking you got a great positive attitude regularly. You regularly work hard and you always come out with ideas and they still don't treat you well. Eventually, someone's going to take notice. That I promise you. Eventually, someone's going to take notice. You're going to move up. It's inevitable. It's a law. It works for everybody. So just focus on these three areas. Mario, let's get our favorite pillow. Okay, today we have Mario throwing us the pillow instead of Paul. We got two new team members here behind us. One likes, you said comedy. He likes comedy, and this one wants to be a producer, producer is what he wants to be. And we just talked about the question, why Dana Cook, Dane Cook, why Dane Cook is no longer, he hasn't been on the scene for a while. Right. Mario gave us some feedback why this. Some of you guys may remember that Dane Cook. Some of you guys don't. But regardless, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, let's see if I'm doing this right. Am I doing it right? Is this good here? The guys are trying to critique me on where to put my finger. Cool. Click here to s subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't joined the notification squad, the crazy notification squad that within 30 seconds of video going up, you guys are messaging. Click on the alert to be one of the first for YouTube to alert you every time a new video goes up and join the notification squad. And if you got questions, comments, thoughts, comment on the bottom. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.